Hi, this is John from PSD Dude, and in this video tutorial, I will show you how to use the Draw in Sand Photoshop action. First, you have to download the files. Inside the zip, you will find three files a brushes file, an actions file, and a patterns file. You have to load all these files in uh, Photoshop. To do that, you have to go to Edit menu, Preset Manager choose brushes for the preset type, click load and then choose the ABR file simply click on it and then click load ok, now we have to install the patterns choose the preset type patterns and then click load again choose the patterns file and then click load now you have the patterns and the brushes we are done here now to load the actions file you have to window and then actions here as you can see I already have the action loaded but you will have to load it in your Photoshop for that you have to click on the icon in the top corner and then choose load actions then you select the draw in sand by psddude.atn click on it and then click load ok so now that we have all the files installed let's see how to use this action first you have to open an image the size of the image has to be around 1000 pixels so not a very small size image and not a very large size image uh, simply double click on the background to unlock it and then click OK then go to the actions panel choose the drawings and action and then click play the action stops here with a message to paint over to do that choose a brush and then you have to paint over the image that you want to transform to a sand drawing It's very important here to make sure that the brush opacity is set to 100%. Okay, let's start drawing. Before that, you can change the brush size if it suits you. And then start painting. I'll make just a rough paint over here. here you can also use one of the selection tools and simply fill the shape if that's easier for you now I will use the fill bucket tool like this and the idea here is to have the area filled with color when you are done, simply resume play. The action stops again here for you to set the threshold level. The idea is to have a good contrast or a good balance between white and black. The black areas will be the one visible in the end result. So here I will choose a value, let's see something around 50 I think is good okay now you can set some layer styles but you can also do that later on so click OK and this is the effect so far
Okay, so the action stops again for you to set the seawater level. Sometimes it happens that it's not visible on the screen, so you have to click Control Zero, and then it will uh, show it to you. Then you simply drag this layer and you can move it and uh, another thing you can do is uh, you can scale it on the vertical and on the horizontal you don't have to move it or reposition it right now because we will do this in the next step also simply hit enter when you're done with it Now we can move the seawater and you can also resize it a little bit. You can use a rotate tool if you want. All right. And if you want you can rotate it some more and put it in the lower corner or on the other side of the screen it just depends what effect you want to have and then you can just click enter when you're done now the action stops again for you to uh, set the settings of the clouds layer as you can see there are many clouds that you can move by simply dragging around the screen that actually moves the pattern overlay let's say we leave them like this for now and then click OK this is the end of uh, this Photoshop action but it's not quite over yet because you can do some extra steps in order to get to the final effect so what you can do next is first drag the pattern overlay to reveal shells click on the layer mask and uh, use the brush to, to paint the areas that you want to hide and third you can click on the layer thumbnail and use the brush tool to paint the areas that you want to reveal so let's take it step by step first you go to the beach shell pattern layer double click go to the pattern overlay and you can si simply drag and drop the pattern where you want it to be yeah, I think this is good you can also change the scale of this pattern let's say 50% but that means that you have to reposition the the pattern like this and I th think this looks better at 100% so let's set that now simply click on the layer mask for this layer and using the brush tool with the color black can paint in this layer mask to create a nice effect and this will blend the, the background and the shell pattern just by clicking you add this uh, this blending effect it's not very hard to do and oops
okay so it's starting to look really nice it's blended now say I'll leave it like this for now another thing that you can do is you can click on the layer thumbnail like this and using the same brush tool you can paint back some details so you can reveal uh, the shells like this if there are too many you can return to the layer mask and simply hide some of them just like this that way you can create a lot of effects also another thing that you can do is you can duplicate this layer let's call it beach shell pattern 1 and we can change the pattern size to 50 to obtain some smaller shells click OK of course you'll have to adjust the layer mask and hide some of the details or reveal them depending on what you want to achieve to reveal you have to click on the layer thumbnail and paint over just like this okay one other thing that you can do you can for example change the clouds by changing the layer double click on the layer and go to drop shadow and lower the opacity yeah. as you can see there are two clouds layers you can hide the optional layer to obtain a softer effect or you can keep it depending on what you like best another thing that you can do is you can duplicate the layer called seawater pattern we'll call it seawater pattern 1 and using uh, the transform tool we can use uh, the scale option and we can add another water area we will put it here on the right side like this you can resize and move it and rotate it however you want then click enter if I lower the, the, the layer opacity you get a softer effect yeah, something like this okay let's see what we can do next if we go to the sand effect you see that there are two layers sand effect and draw in sand you can lower the opacity of the sand effect layer or you can use uh, the layer styles and you can change the settings there depending on the effects that work for you if you hide the layer called original or uh, lower its opacity you'll get a softer effect just like this so it's all totally up to you and uh, depends on what effect you want to achieve 
Okay, so this concludes this video tutorial. I hope you like the result and uh, I hope you decide to buy this action from Graphic River. You can download the action by clicking on the link in the description of this video. Bye.